if I could distill down to like one thing that I think has been most beneficial to me achieving any goals that I've achieved, I think it's, I don't think it's my inherent skill level. I don't think it's, um, you know, luck or anything. I just, it's dedication. I think it's just showing up and trying to do the work and uh, accepting that you're gonna fail a bunch in that process, but if, uh, if I can just maintain some level of dedication, like it's gonna get done and I'm gonna, I'm gonna overcome the obstacle. Uh, but routine is really important to me, like daily routine and, um, and tracking what I'm doing is really important to me. Almost more important than setting goals for me is to track my daily progress. If I can track it, I can measure it, and if I can measure it, I can improve it. You know, if I don't have any measure of where I'm at or what I'm doing, then it's, it's difficult to say if I am being dedicated or not. So for me, having the routine and having the, uh, the sort of discipline to stick to the routine, and this sounds counterintuitive, but it's sort of, it feels like it frees me from myself, okay? If I know that I have to be here at a certain time, and that I have to try to put in a certain amount of hours, then I know that I'm not gonna respond to whatever petty feelings I might be having that day. Am I tired? Am I annoyed? Am I a little sad? You know, am I hyper? Like, it, the routine protects me from the inevitable push and pull of my own psyche, basically. You know, creativity for me when I first started working was about succeeding in a, in a basic technical way and the creative ways I could solve that problem. Now it's more about um, how just the act of it ties my whole life together, for one thing. I first started painting just because it, uh, it was accessible. You know, paint and, and uh, drawing materials were just accessible mediums. If I was in a place where marble carving was accessible, like I probably would have gotten into that. You know, that's really the only reason that I would say that painting was the medium of choice when I, that I started with. So the reasons I, I got into painting and drawing to begin with, have they've kind of evolved over the years, but in the beginning I was actually just drawing from comic books and I'd have like my favorite comics and try to replicate them and it was sort of the first thing I did that got me, uh, got me notice and you know, uh, specifically even just like girls in high school to notice me. You know, I wasn't good at sports, I wasn't good at anything else, but it, it kind of just gave me this identity that I liked. And that was, that was the starting point for me with painting and drawing. If somebody told me they weren't creative, I would probably give them more credit than someone who says they were creative because this idea of creativity is so nebulous and weird and, um, and, and it's easy to say we're not because how do we really calculate creativity? Like if we look at, you know, if we take color and just express it in terms of its wavelength, we sort of take away all that beauty from color. Like I don't think creativity is something we can, um, you know, break down in a lab and approximate, which makes it really difficult then for people to make a claim to it or not. I think this idea of just being creative, period, is like the idea of just being smart. Like that doesn't, in what way are you smart or what way are you creative? It has to kind of, um, you have to find your project, you know, that you want to, to apply that skill to and, and to uh, improve that skill. And I think creativity can be um, like harnessed and improved as long as it has that, uh, that project that it can be directed towards. My name's Frank Lombardo and I'm a painter.